Hello, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Rome research again and what I have learned over the last week. This is going to be called Basics 2 and it's going to go a little bit deeper into Rome research basics. So let's dive in. Here I've opened a new page. In Rome, you nest everything below a certain paragraph and if it's nested below the paragraph then it's going to be a part of that uh, link that you've already arranged for example if you write here double brackets daily news So if you reference this page now, you're going to have all of the stuff that's nested underneath it on that um, a page under the daily news. So you're going to have uh, that link. If you go back and let's say do the same but you put a hashtag and then go and link it. It will do the same thing. So if you go to that page, now you're going to see both of those nested under that name. So it's going to have everything that's nested underneath the bullet point or hashtag is going to be linked to that page name. As I said before, the hashtag and the, a double bracket behave the same. If we go back to the new page and now we put So if you've nested without a bullet point underneath as well, then that also will be sent as a link to that new page. And as you see here, it's going to happen again. And uh, let's try it again with a hashtag. So you will have the same. If I go back to the daily news, you'll have the same. So whether you use hashtag or a double bracket and nest either bullet points underneath it or the formatted text that's not bulleted, that whole nested block will behave like a block uh, under that link. But if you don't link it, under a nested area, for example, if we go back and go here and say you're not going to get anything underneath it. If you want to link within a text or code, then uh, you have to link it either nested or you have to do it as a each line and then link it to that uh, text or to that hashtag. So what we can do here is news and then that will come in as linked stuff. And if we go back as a news and then hashtag, it will be linked. You either have to link under a each uh, link you have to have text nested or each bullet point uh, that's not nested has to have the hashtag or a, a back, double bracket link to the uh, area that you want to link it to. And that's more important down the track when you are maybe writing a lot of text um, and you have to link then this text to a hashtag or 
to a double bracket. So here I'm I tell you the difference between the reference block and embedded block. So the reference block is you've basically quoted in a new page a original text. You basically reference it to that area. And if you change the original text, the reference block will be changed as well. But you cannot go and change a reference block to change the original block. They, there's only one way relationship is change the original block and the reference block will be changed. If you have embedded block method, you will have original block, original text, and you've embedded it in a new page, this original text. Now, if you change the original text, it will be changed in the embedded block. But if you change the embedded block, that will also change the original text. I probably wouldn't use the reference block that much. Um, maybe there are some areas that you want to have that link to the text, like in the library of their books, and then you're doing some sort of research or writing a quote or something like that. But uh, when it comes to embedded block, that would be the stuff that I would use much, much more. So if we go back to the new a page, to embed a, to embed a block as a couple of these, and then you start doing it. So I'll, I'll embed this block. This is a very interesting study. So you just start writing it, and you click here, and enter. And you can see the whole copy of that bullet point. If you have it nested, everything that's nested under that area will be uh, uh, will be included. Now, if you change this area, let's say I delete this hello that I've put in earlier, that will change automatically now the um, referenced area. But you cannot change this reference block unless you replace it with either embed or text or something similar. Now, if I want to embed, it's a backslash embed. And so block embed. And now you start writing this area. Let's say same block. This is a very interesting study. And you do it. Now, you can see here that it's straight away different. You can say that there is a two references for this part of the page. It's this bit and the one in the previous um, in the original file that I've put in a right sidebar. So the original file that I've put here in the right sidebar. So now if I add here this, it will be automatically changed here. But I can now change it in this area and it will be automatically changed in the original file. So that's the difference between the reference block and embed block. So reference, you can only change in the original page. Re embedded, you can change kind of, uh, it works both ways. Now we talked about uh, opening the side bar in the new page. So if I close this, like this, to open uh, this page, let's say how to take smart notes in a sidebar, I will go shift and click and we'll open it. There's nothing underneath it in that sidebar. Now, if I want to open that area here, daily news, it's the same shift, click. It will open the daily news and you can see straight away uh, how many times and everything else that that's been mentioned. Now, I often do notes and write notes and this stuff. So you can write two pages simultaneously and have a look in this way. So having a new new page and then a link if we go um, daily news page. Now I can start writing in that page as well. Uh, so it's very useful when you're writing your notes on a certain um, uh, page in this area. So I might copy and paste the article in this area and then write my notes in a sidebar that's linked to hashtag or a comment or something like that within a different page. Now you can also open pretty much four uh, windows. So if I want to open on the commands 
page that I have, I'll click, right click here, open link in Rome. Now I have three pages that I can simultaneously look at and write. And if I wanted to have a forward page, let's say the books one, I can shift and click and it will open it in here. So in some ways you can almost have endless windows and endless uh, screens and pages that you can simultaneously work in their own research. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to receive notifications about my future videos, please subscribe to the button below. Bye for now.